Hey folks, DJ Bob Light here. I'm going to show you how to load sound font files into Tal Sampler. If you want that old school sound, finding some good sound fonts is a good idea. Uh, you can get a bunch of free crappy ones online, but if you want some quality ones, check out Digital Sound Factory. I think this guy actually used to work for Emu back in the 90s. And he has a bunch of different sound fonts on here for classic Emu modules. So. If you want to orbit Dance Planet, for example, and you don't want to go spend $500 on one, just come in and buy this sound font pack here. Um, they're really high quality, really good, really uh, grungy sounding, and you can load them into any sampler uh, in your DAW, typically. Uh, but we're going to use Tal Sampler here. So grab Tal Sampler as well. I'm going to make a video on this uh, very soon. You're going to come in to Tal Sampler here, and the end result is going to be that I can come into my presets here. You'll see we have presets by default from Tal Sampler, and I also have a sound fonts folder uh, with a bunch of different sound font banks in here. So my Emu Vintage Keys, got a bunch of presets in here, and uh, I can very easily load them and play them. So first thing we're going to do is come to this drop down and go to set preset location. By default, Tal Sampler sets it to your app data folder on Windows. I think it's just easier to remap that uh, to a drive that's easily accessible. So I just set this to my E drive here, and that's where my preset folder is. So if I bring my file browser over here, this is my preset location for Tal Sampler. You can create uh, sub menus by creating folders within here. So I have sound fonts, and then within there, I created a additional folder for the MoFat sound font. And we're going to extract it into there. So back in Tal Sampler, click this dropdown, go to Import SF2, and navigate to wherever your sound font file is. I have a bunch of different banks here. Um, depending on which sound font you get, maybe one or multiple, but let's just import this first one. You're going to see this SF2 import options screen on the sub sound drop down. You're going to see all the presets that are available in that bank. I think sound fonts are limited to 128 presets per bank. Um, so you should typically see uh, somewhere in that range. Then you want to set a sample export path. And this is really important because all of your sound font presets are going to reference um, wave files that are stored in this folder. So I'm going to go to choose here, and we set this to the sound fonts emu mofat directory, which is that preset directory uh, that we created. And then there's a prefix that we can set. And what Tal Sampler is going to do when you export these is um, export all the audio files from the sound font file. So that sound font file actually has a bunch of WAV files in there uh, compressed heavily. This is going to export them all out. So let's click export all. Depending on how shitty your computer is, may take 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so I accidentally exported these to the wrong folder. I didn't put them in the preset directory because I'm an idiot. That's okay though. So we're exporting them here and I want to call out a few things first. One is as mentioned, when you do that export, you'll see Tal Sampler. Um, exported all the audio files in here as WAV files uh, with that prefix. And then it also exported all of the presets here in this .tal sample file format. So it's a proprietary tal sampler format, and each one is a preset. And let's say, for example, this first preset, the ultimate .tal sample, it is referencing one of these WAV files above. So that's why it's important to keep these WAV files um, in a directory, like the preset directory. Um, because when you do that export, each preset, again, is referencing them. So what I'm going to have to do here is move uh, these sound fonts over to the preset directory. So let's let this continue to load here, and then we'll do that real quick. All right, all done here. So I have my Tal Sampler preset directory on the right and where I accidentally exported everything to. So I'm going to simply grab all these WAV files, move them over, and then I'm going to grab all these Tal sample files and move them over. Easy enough. 
So you're back in Tal Sampler, if I go to my drop down, go to sound fonts, Emu Mofat, there are all my presets that we exported. So I can just load one of these up. Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, let's try another one that doesn't suck. Let's see. Emu Mofat. Oh, hot and steamy. Cool. So what you should typically see in here is one or two layers being used. I believe you can only use mono samples. So what some sound fonts do is have two layers to pan left and right to create stereo. I may be wrong there. But if I just come into layer A, click on the sample, uh, you'll see uh, all those mappings are in there from the sound font file. So, you know, key A1 here has a slice of the sample. Everything's mapped across the keyboard, just like a sample. Um, yeah, and uh, that's kind of how you do it, folks. Um, pretty, pretty easy here to load these in. Just got to get a hold of some quality sound font files, and then you're off to the races. If you want the old school sound, this is what you got to do. Peace out.